So in a lab, in one of our labs, we collect the class data, um, mass versus volume, and we plotted it and determined the density of that uh, substance using the slope. Because uh, density is the ratio of mass over volume, we can use that slope of that line. So let's do that here. We're going. We're asked to plot these points. So let's draw some axes. There's a. There's my y. I don't need negative values, but uh, there we go. There's my x. And let's see. We're gonna. It's gonna be. So density is gonna be uh, the change in the mass over the change in volume. So we're going to put a mass in units of grams labeled on the y-axis, because that's going to be our y going up and down, rise if you want, and then the cubic centimeters on the x-axis. Now, you're probably like, well, why can't we just take one of these masses and divide by the other? Well, that, you can do that if these are these are really good measurements, but um, and, and if they are, I think that's what uh, let's let's do what it's asking us to. Um, if this is like measurements um, in a lab, then you'd want to get multiple measurements and try to get a best fit line, and then use two points from that best fit line. Okay, enough talking. Oh, we need uh, we need some markings here. So that's uh, on the on on the mass scale. Looks like it stops at less than 200, so let's call that 200 grams, and that looks like 100 roughly, and then on the uh, x-axis, the largest value is 81, so let's call that like 100, and then this like 50. Definitely not drawn to scale. All right, so I'm going to plot some of these points. Let's see, the first one there is uh, 11 is like one-fifth from origin to 50, so maybe there. 23 is like roughly less than a quarter up, so something like that. Next one, 29 is a little more than halfway between 0 and 50, so maybe there-ish. And then 60 is a little more than halfway up from 0 to 100, so something like that. And then 55 is a tad past 50, so like there-ish. And 115 is a little past that, not that my axes are even drawn to scale. Uh, and then 81 is a little more than halfway, uh, maybe something like that, between 50 and 100 and 168 is a little more than halfway, maybe a little more than that. Okay, maybe something like that. All right, let's draw a best fit line. I'm not going to go through the Y because I don't know where it crosses the Y, so uh, we can figure that out too. So there it is. So the change, the rise, and the run, that's going to give us a slope, which is the density. All right, and assuming you, you could go through each one of them, at, at each one of these points to go mass or volume and, and see if it, you get the answer, probably get the same answer. Because uh, how how am I supposed to know? <laughs> I just freehanded this. Like which two points are actually on this line? Um, anyway, let's let's do the uh, let's let's do what's asking us to determine density using the slope. So the density is going to be as we wrote up here: the change in mass over the change in volume. Let's just pick two points, and uh, we'll do a, we'll just do the last two points here. All right, so 168 grams minus 115 grams over 81.1 cubic centimeters minus 55.5 cubic centimeters. All right, I'm going to keep scooting down here. I'm going to run into my graph. So that's, uh, let's get take our calculators. 168 minus 115. 
and that is proper sig figs because uh, both those numbers have precisions to the ones. Uh, and then 81.1 .1 minus 55.5 is, do that again, 81.1 .1 minus 55.5. Okay. 55 .5. cubic centimeters and that also has proper sig figs because they both have both our values had precision to the tenths all right so when so now we're dividing multiplying and dividing we need to have answers based off of sig figs all right so 53 divided by 25.6 2.07 but because of this friend there only has two sig figs our answer should only have two so it's two point my calculator says 2.0703 and so on but that lasted the digit after my last sig fig rounds my last sig fig up it says 2.1 grams per cubic centimeters now you could have picked any two numbers on that table i'm sure you get the same answer but i'm just following directions here determining the density from the slope